Hello everybody. I just want to show you what it's what it takes to create a Behance project. Um, so I'm logged into Behance.net, and so you have to log in here with your Adobe Creative Cloud account. And once you do that, you can actually um, you get basically like in a Behance profile page. Now, if you want to fancy this up, you can put your photo in, banner images. Um, say what tools you use, all that kind of stuff. And you can also follow people and keep track of that. You can create mood boards and post work and do things like that. Um, so what I'm gonna, see I'm missing a few things here. Um, what I wanna show you is how to create a project like this. So I have this spider, Spidergram, Spiderverse type project I, uh, I created here. And it basically details how I put together this um, picture, basically. So this is the final, and then I explain what the project is and the process. Uh, what's interesting, you can do this in a couple different ways. So the way I did this is I uh, basically created this really long image in Photoshop. I kind of built this whole thing as one image and then uploaded that into Behance. And I think I've got, there's a couple images, um, like this bottom section is a different section here. And so I kind of felt like that let me design this exactly how I wanted it to look, right? I could really do anything I want with it. And um, if you wanna do something this way, you wanna have that kind of control, so you can see there's three separate images. There's this one, there's this first top long one, and then the second long one. If you want to do that, you can find my uh, profile page, um, Josh Polk Behance, if you Google that, it should come up, or uh, behance.net slash Josh Polk. Uh, the easiest way, you can just kind of copy what I did. If you want to like right click and save this image, open it up in Photoshop, go to image size, and you can figure out um, what dimension works pretty good here. Um, another thing you have to do too is there's kind of like a margin spacing that you can control that goes in between and maybe some padding on the outside edges too, I kind of forget, but you just wanna reduce all that to zero so that these are all just kind of seamless. Um, if I edit it, um, so each project that you create, you have this kind of editor it's pretty straightforward how to use, but you can upload images, you can create photo grids, you can add text. Um, if you edit styles and layout, that's where you have the spacing. So notice my spacing is down to zero. Your header, might, you might have a header or not, um, dividers. You know, I just have black and no dividers. Background, my background is the, this white part here. And you can actually, you can put text in here using their layout tool and using their text adding and all that kind of stuff. You might actually want to build your first project that way. I'm going to show you how that works, but if you do go this image route, um, you can upload media, basically make sure the, the uh, styles have no spacing, no dividers, and then that kind of stuff, and you'll, you'll be good. Let's see, that's the content. You've got like the cover image that it shows if on, on the top of my page there. And some broader settings about, you know, who can look at a display discoverability if you want people to be able to find you. So let's create a project and I'm not gonna save this. So this is really easy to work with. Um, you just add what you wanna add here. So let's add some text. You can say my first project. And as you roll over it, you can change different settings, color, fonts, you're kind of limited to what they give you here on that. Um, and anytime you have to go back, go back, click on the little pencil, edit it. You can kind of reorder things. There's some alignment tools here. I'm not gonna cover this exhaustively because I think it's pretty easy to figure out, but so you get the one thing here and then you can add new stuff. So maybe here you wanna add an image. Um, I, yeah, so we hit this up arrow, which is upload. Um, I don't know what I can, I've got, 
a random photo here that I can of Daniel Johnston I can put in as an old um, music artist and designer if you've never heard of him before. But so you can dump your images in. You might have to think about what size you want these to be. Um, you can delete it, add a caption, do that kind of stuff. Um, as far as resizing it, you can add padding here. I don't know if you can actually go in and resize this. It kind of comes in as what, so you might think about the size before you bring it in. Or you can try this photo grid here where you bring in a bunch of things. So if you're showing a bunch of um, art on the beginning you know, or like a concept art or some inspiration or reference photos, you might dump all those in with a photo grid or something like that. But just go down below here. And then, so if you want to embed, this is a good way to drop in a YouTube video. If you use Lightroom, you can drop in stuff from a gallery, I think, there. Haven't actually tried that feature. Um, but if you want to just add more text, so this is my project and blah, blah, blah. Whatever you want to write in here to explain that. And so you can rearrange this stuff if you need to. Um, let's see, how do we do that? Let's see, there's alignment. I think you can rearrange this. Let's see. Yeah, so you can reorder project. So then it takes you to this other page. That's right. So you can, if you have to reorder stuff, that's how you do that. Each kind of, it, you basically have these little independent media blocks. So really, um, to do a little project, you know, you can put some titles and things like that. Like I said, like we saw in the settings here, you know, you can control spacing in between the different blocks. Their header might be a separate little area. You can have dividers in between things, different background colors. I'm not quite sure why that doesn't come up. Um, oh, there's the background color. Um, the color That's the color of the divider, rather. Um, you can set styles for your different things. So those things we looked at, the captions, you can style that stuff. Um, and then just put as much text, as much paragraphs as you need to explain things, drop in your different images to show, you know, explain it with text, show it with pictures, um, upload stuff as needed, embed video or any other kind of things you need. So really easy to use, um, you know, pick your cover photo for that. Um, sure, let's go with this one. I guess you have to give it a name. You can crop your cover photo. And then just look at these different things. Um, and then to be done with it, you publish it. Um, they make you add a couple different, you have, they make you classify it. Um, publish it, and it's gonna save it. So you have to publish it and you get a link. And so you can give me this link, you can post this link. If people go to your Behance page, they'll see this pop up. Um, they'll get notified, that kind of stuff. Um, I really don't want this to be popping up in everybody's thing because it's just a test. <laughs> um, but I've already kind of done that probably, so it's probably getting shoot, shot out there. But um, And then you can go back to your profile and you'll see your different projects. You can set stuff up as a draft. Maybe I should have done that in that category. Um, but let's delete this before. I don't need that. So that's... Um, that's how you can create a project. And then I've got, let's see, a couple more. So I've just got different images. I've kind of created a little portfolio here, basically, just dropping different images in, showing things. Um, this is another project I work, uh, compiled some volunteer stuff that I did. And, you know, they give you some stats on people following you. You can go find other artists out there with Behance. It's a pretty awesome site. So check it out, give it a try, and I hope you like it.